Have you been asked to calculate variable costs and operating income or loss when you're given these numbers and you're not sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you how to easily calculate these numbers in today's video. But first, I want to say I believe something wonderful is about to happen for you, so be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. In an earlier video, I had calculated various numbers such as sales and variable costs and fixed costs, all for various firms all together. If you want to take a look at that video, I've linked it up here. This one is going to be a breakdown of firm C from that video, just to give you some more detail in case you didn't quite catch it in that video. Here we're given sales of $126,000. And again, this is aggregate sales. So whatever period we're talking about, if this is over a month or a year, whatever it is, this is when you add up all the sales. This is not per item. This is the aggregate. We're looking for the variable costs. The costs that are variable costs are those that vary with sales. So as sales go up, we expect our variable costs to go up. As sales go down, we expect our variable costs to go down. And we're looking for the aggregate variable cost. In other words, the costs that are variable, but for the entire batch that's sold. So however many are sold, that's the variable cost. Again, not variable cost per unit, but the aggregate variable cost. I did an earlier video in which I did the variable cost per unit, and I've linked that up here. You can take a look at that to see how to do it that way. We're looking for that number. We don't have it, but we do have the contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin ratio, and we do know the amount of the fixed cost, in this case, $39,400. What we don't know is the operating income, or if in some cases, if the fixed costs are higher than the contribution margin, it will be a loss. In accounting, we designate a loss or negative numbers using parentheses. So if you see parentheses, you'll know that's negative numbers. To figure this out, we need to do some calculations and use some formulas. I've got some formulas here, including contribution margin is equal to sales minus variable cost, and contribution margin ratio is sales minus variable costs, all divided by sales. The thing that we want to keep in mind is the difference between contribution margin and contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin is going to be a dollar figure. That's going to tell us how much, after the variable costs are taken out, how much of the sales go toward covering fixed costs and toward our operating income. So we're going to take our variable costs and we're going to subtract them from the sales number to give us the contribution margin. So we'll have sales in dollar, dollars, we'll have variable costs in dollars, and we subtract that from the sales, and that gives us a contribution margin in dollars. Now, that's opposed to a contribution margin ratio, which is a percentage. This is expressed as a percentage, and that is the percentage of the sales that go toward covering the operating income. And the way we find that is the contribution margin ratio is sales minus variable costs all over sales. So you'll see that in action here in a moment, and it'll begin to make more sense. Thank you for the thumbs up. That is much appreciated. It definitely helps the channel grow with those. So the first thing we need to figure out is the variable costs. And to do that, I'm going to figure out what the contribution margin is. The contribution margin, and as we stated, contribution margin is going to be a dollar figure. We've got the percentage, but we're going to find out the dollar figure. And we know that the contribution margin is equal to sales minus variable costs. We know the sales, but we don't know the variable costs, so we can't use this 
formula directly. We do know that the contribution margin ratio, we do know that's 28%, and that is sales minus variable cost over sales. Again, we don't know the variable costs. So how can we use this? Well, let me show you. I'm going to push this up a little bit. And since we know that the contribution margin ratio, I'm going to call that CMR, is equal to the sales minus variable cost over sales. Sales minus variable cost, if we notice, that's the same thing as here. Sales minus variable cost, sales minus variable cost, that is equal to contribution margin. So I can substitute sales minus variable costs as a numerator. I can substitute in contribution margin for that. Contribution margin is the same as sales minus variable costs. And our denominator remains sales. We're trying to find the first step, the contribution margin. So I want to get this by itself. We want to find that. So let's rearrange our formula, formula using some algebra. The way we do that, I want to get sales out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by sales. If we do that, this bottom sales goes away. And we wind up with contribution margin is equal to sales times the contribution margin ratio. That's equal to contribution margin. Do we know these numbers? Yes, we do. The sales number is 126,000. What's the contribution margin ratio? We know that's 28%. We're going to write that as a decimal, 0 0.28. If you don't, don't recall how to convert a decimal to a percentage and vice versa, I've got a video linked up here to remind you how to do that. And that's going to give us our contribution margin. Let's use a BA2 plus calculator to get this information. If you want to get one of these for yourself, I've got a link down in the description. And there's one on the screen. I recommend this if you're going to be doing any kind of financial or accounting calculations. I'm going to first put in sales, 126,000. And I'm going to multiply it by 0.28. And that is the decimal representation of 28%. However, the nice thing is this calculator, you can put in a percentage. So I can type in 28 and hit the percent button, and that does it for me. Hit the equal button, and that gives me a contribution margin of 35,280. That's my contribution margin. I'll push this up. So we found the contribution margin, and I'm going to list that up here, 35,280. There wasn't a place in my chart, but I'm going to put it there because it's useful. Let's now take that information, and let's look here at this formula. We're still trying to find variable costs. We know that contribution margin is equal to sales minus variable costs. Can I rearrange this to find variable costs? Well, yes, I can. Let's see how to do that. I'm going to push this up. Contribution margin is equal to sales minus variable costs. If I add variable costs to both sides using algebra, then I've got variable costs plus contribution margin is equal to sales. But we're still trying to get variable costs by itself because that's what we're trying to solve for. So I'm going to subtract contribution margin from both sides. And algebraically, I wind up with variable costs is equal to sales minus contribution margin. Do we know these figures? Yes, we do. The variable cost is equal to sales. What's our sales figure? Our sales figure is 126,000. And I'm going to subtract from that the contribution margin, which we found to be 35,280. So if we put that into the calculator, and I already have the 35,280, and I'm subtracting that. So the little trick that I like to do is I hit the plus minus button to change that to a negative. So that changes the sign. And now I can just add it 
to the 126,000 sales figure. And that gives me a variable cost of 90,720. Reminding you that is a aggregate amount. Let's go ahead and fill that in up here in our chart. So we got the first thing solved, 90,720. Now we've got sales, we got variable costs, we have contribution margin ratio, which is given to us, and we know the contribution margin. We know the fixed costs. What do we need to find? The operating income or loss. So the way we're going to find that is we know that contribution margin minus fixed costs is equal to operating income. Contribution margin minus fixed costs is equal to operating income. We know the contribution margin. We found it here. The contribution margin is $35,280. I'm going to subtract from it the fixed costs. We're told the fixed costs are $39,000. 400. What does that give us? Let's clear the calculator. I already see that my fixed costs are above my contribution margin, so I'm going to expect a negative number. In other words, I'm going to expect a loss. So let's put that into the calculator. I have 35,280. Subtract 39,400. What do I get? Negative 4,120. That is our operating loss. 4,120, and that's a negative, so we're losing money this year. So that is how you calculate the variable costs and the operating income. That's all I have for you today. Share this video with someone who is taking an accounting class and might need help with this. You can also become a member. There's a join button down below. There are special perks for members, including special members only videos and early access to the videos when I do produce them and they get their answers, their questions answered with priority. So consider becoming a member. It's less than a Starbucks coffee per month to become a member. And if nothing else, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Now go out and make it an awesome day. Thank you.